So simply do team, do you want to kind of get your startup slides ready and I will, I'll kick off with that. Okay. Brilliant. So um, welcome to today's webinar. This is the second one in our series entitled Make It Happen and it's all about um, inspiring you, empowering you and giving you ideas to start your own business. Now today's session is, is really, really exciting because it's being run by the Simply Do Ideas team. And I, in my past life, before I worked for Quietig, I had the absolute pleasure of actually sitting next to the Simply Do Ideas team. They were a lot smaller then, it was, it was a few years ago. When their business really started taking off, we were, we were in the NatWest um, accelerator together and we kind of like shared desk space. So I've seen this business um, start from what was kind of like an idea to where it is today um, and they're amazing. Um, and it's just really exciting to kind of be back with them. I love how I always kind of, our paths always cross and I have done for, for years. So let me introduce you to today's presenters. So if you can just move the slide on, that would be great. So we have got the lovely uh, Jean Thier. Jean Thier is the innovation officer for Simply Do Ideas. And we've got um, also supporting, so Jean is gonna be delivering and taking you through um, taking you through today's slides and talking about their platform, which is incredible. Um, and Joe's gonna be kind of behind the scenes and answering any questions that you've got. So just so you know a little bit more about Simply Do, they are absolutely the experts, the specialists, the people to go to for idea generation and idea creation. And they do it all through an online platform that they've developed and keep on developing. And I know personally that they've supported over 80 organizations and thousands of people to just become more innovative and take take their ideas and turn them into reality, which is kind of really exciting and it's why you're here today. So I'm gonna turn my camera off and I'm gonna um, hand over now to the wonderful Simply Do Ideas team. Thanks guys, enjoy. Hi everyone, thanks Kath. That was a great introduction. Um, one of the best I've had in a long time. Um, so yes, my name is Shanta Salamanca Robbins, as Kath said, the Innovation Officer and I'll be leading today and I'll be assisted by Joseph our senior business manager. All right, okay, so let's get along with this session. So first off, just so that we all know what is happening, today's session will follow this kind of order. So, one, a few things popping up on my screen. So we're gonna figure out first at what stage you are at with your business or your idea. We'll take a look at the Make It Happen Challenge. We'll go through a quick platform demonstration. We'll then get everybody registered. And then we'll have a quick exploration in the platform followed by a Q&A towards the end. So what are the goals for this session? Well, it's to register on the platform, to create a new idea. Hello? 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 She just doesn't get it. Hello? Hello. Sorry, someone's, is someone's mic on? Yeah, I just hear that. I am looking through the list now. See what's going quick on. Pause. Quick pause. Oh, the but, choice, um, of, choice of technology. Now, I can't see anybody with access to the microphone. Oh, hang on. Right, I can't mute everyone. I don't know where this is coming from. Oh, okay. Well, Never mind. Ooh. Oh my goodness, I honestly don't know where it's coming from. I've muted everyone. Um, guys, can I ask if you, can you just check that you are all on mute, please? Oh, there we go. Right, I'm going to silence myself and let you carry on. Okay, no problem. Like, the, last, like Kat said, the joys of technology. Anyway, so let's get back on track. The second goals for today register on the platform, create a new idea, and explore the Make It Happen Challenge. Right, so let's get on. So, first things first, at what stage are you at with your idea or business? This is just for us to gauge how best we can help you. So, 
there will be a poll for this. Are you at the thinking stage? Have you just got an idea? You haven't put it down on paper, but it's just in your head at the moment. It's in your mind. You're thinking about it. It's very, very early stage. Or are you in the planning stage where you've got that idea? You've started thinking about it a little bit more, but you want to see what you can do with it and how far you can take it. Or have you already started? You've tested this business, whether it be a service or a product on your friends and family and close people around you. Or actually, are you are further ahead and you're already doing. So that means that you're selling to um, repeat customers, either a product or a service. So we're just going to have a quick look. I can see that quite a few of you have already answered the poll. And um, we've got a couple of seconds. We'll leave that, I don't know, 20 seconds. See if anyone else starts answering it. I'll we'll take to the next slide. Yeah, we'll give it 30 seconds. See what your answer are but i can see at the moment that a lot of you are in the thinking and the planning stage so in the early stages of your idea which is the perfect really um event for you right now in the sense that what we'll do is we'll take you through a process and then make it happen challenge where it'll give you tools and things to think about on how to start your idea and also if you've already started or doing it it may give you Oh, here we go, that's the timer, so that's everything gone. So we've got 53% thinking, 24% planning, 18% starting, and 6% doing. So if you are thinking and planning, again, this is great for you. We'll give you the tools and the process to go through what you need to consider when starting up a business. However, for those of you that have already said you're starting and doing, this might give you something to think about that otherwise you might have not, even though you're already doing it. So it may help everybody here. Right, so next up. Right, so today you may be one of three different people. First person you may be, option one, is someone who's really busy at the moment and you know can't give a lot of time to the session. And that's okay as well. And that's depicted by this chilled out too. So just have us in the background, figure out what we're saying and maybe apply it if you want to use it for your business. The second person you may be is actually someone who has got an idea and wants to start something. So you want to just dip your toe in lightly, but don't want to fully commit. That's great. We'll take you through the process also. And lastly, you might be someone who just wants to go full force and take the plunge. And we are here for you also. So what is the make it happen challenge? And who is it for? Well, let me tell you, this is for people who have a business idea, specifically women in Wales, and they're not actually quite sure what to do with it. You know, we know that you are bringing with good ideas and that could one day hopefully turn into a pattern project or a new source of income. Also, we know at the moment that it might be a struggle to actually explain your idea, to formulate the correct words to tell someone what it is that you're thinking about for a business idea. And this can be for, to friends or family. And if they don't get it, sometimes, it can knock your confidence a lot, actually, and then you start to think that your idea isn't any good. However, combining that with the lack of time and the day-to-day -day financial pressures that we are currently all experiencing in this very turbulent time, and fear of failure is a, is a massive thing, and it, it may start to make you wonder if you'll ever get started with your idea. And that's why the Make It Happen Challenge is so important, because it is to do from the comfort of your own home. It's, it's to have a go, it's to, it's to be fun and simple challenge designed to help you get your early idea down on paper, or in this case, virtually. It is a creative process. You won't encounter any business jargon, so no worries about that one. And actually, it's so that you can finally work out what to do next with your business idea and how to explore it further. What I do want to stress, and this is quite important, whatever you create, what I, whatever idea you put down into the platform, it is yours and yours only, and it is private. The only people it will be visible to is our team, who are carefully selected experts, and we are here to support you along the way. Now, let's have a look. So we'll do a quick platform demonstration. Now, I know you've probably seen this little link across some of the slides earlier. That's the link to the platform. That's www.sdi, I got it wrong then, sdi.click forward slash make it happen. So if I just quickly take you to where that link 
will direct you. No, it's not that one. Oh, that one. It's that one. Right. So here's the challenge. Make it happen. Now we've been through what it is and who it's for. As you can see, you can give this a quick read when you get to the challenge. It will show you some instructions, which is start a new idea, create your idea, watch it come to life, and then share it for the right support. Again, once again, your idea is private and won't be shared with anyone apart from the team. So if we just go through the process, I'll show you what we need to do. You then click on new idea and it will take you to the registration page. On the left, it gives you a a little explanation of what the Make It Happen Challenge is, and also that it is free. All costs have been covered, so it's free for you to put your idea down on paper and actually explore whether it is a viable business. So let's get on with it. I'll do, as you can see, I have quite a few email addresses. And there we go. They'll then ask you to agree to the terms and conditions. Yes, this is once again telling you that your data is held securely. And first name, so I've got mine, my last name, and we will continue. Again, email address, and then a password. So just do something quick and register. So as you can see, it's a very quick and simple process. It'll take you to the platform overview. And what we are interested is in the Make It Happen Challenge. So you can click in the challenges up here or have it in the challenges box. We'll go to that one. And here you are at the challenge once again. Right, so create a new idea, start a new idea. Okay, so the Make It Happen Challenge goes through what we call the six C's process. Now, this model has been tried and tested, and we use it on academia, healthcare, and in so many different sectors who want to start their businesses. As you can see, the six C's are on the left-hand side. So that's concept, customers, competitors, compatibility, contents, cash. You'll also see that there's attachments details and history. Now the details section, just for information purposes, is where you can put the name of your idea along with cover image for your idea, but we'll leave that for now and just go through the six C's at the top. Each section of the six C's, so each like concept or customers, will give a brief overview of what that section is. So the concept is a short, sharp description of your idea, and then within it you'll have different activities which will also have descriptions. So for example, we'll start with concept. Here, what we want you to put is what is your idea? So you may want to consider things like what does it do and who is it and what it does. So if you just have an idea, then just write, I have an idea about something. If you have something a little more descriptive, then put as much information as you have or as little information as you have thought up just now. One thing about these boxes that you can do is that you can format them in any way you like. So you bold it, italic, underline, you can align it left, right, center. You can change the size. And then of course, if you want to, you can add videos, you can add attachments and you can add images. So that's just a quick overview of your idea. You can also add keywords. Now, something for this, it will reflect your idea. So for example, is your idea about pets? Is it in, are you going to be based in Cardiff? So anything along those lines you can do. So sector, location, whether you're self-employed, anything that you think is relevant to your idea and will reflect it properly. You can use supporting images. So here we would suggest putting a logo. Of course, we know at early stages you won't have a logo, but the good thing with this process is that you can come back to it time and time again. So if at one point you want to add one, you can, and you can also add a video. The next stage is the customers. Now here we want you to identify your target customers and the potential market. Again, you can write in who your market is. So you could say here that it is women, it is men, it is parents, it is teenagers, it is whatever it is that your customers are. But also importantly, you can create profiles for your customers. This will help you better understand who that customer is. So for example, if we choose here, 
and you can either upload an image on choose an image or you can use one from our library of images so if i for, for example put pet or dog i'm gonna have a quick search we'll pick this lovely fellow by here and it will pop up as one of your customers you give it a nickname dog job pet age we'll say he's quite a young little guy we'll say he's four and hobbies eating and playing now i know that's quite a rudimental kind of example but you get the gist so here you can just fully understand who that customer is next up you then have to just decide who that market idea is so who are you going to market and how are you going to market your idea whether that is a website social media links anything like that pop it in there the next section is the competitors now this is an important one because you need to know who you will be competing to what makes you different and is there a gap in the market for you now on this one again a bit similar to competitors you can give them a profile what I'm going to do is do a quick example. So if I add a logo here, this time I'm going to choose an image that I already have. So if I have a look here, I should do that one. And there we go. It's not working. So I'll choose a different one. Do a quick image. And we'll do that one. There we go. So we've done the make it happen image and we'll put it a logo, competitor name, and then the idea was pets at home. So I'm just going to stay with that one. So copy the website, pop it in there. Who are they? Write their name. And then what are they good at and what are they missing? This will help you know what you need to do for your business to compete with already established businesses in this market and again you can do as many or as little as you like we've put three that tends to be the standard so you have a good variation and then a good thing to think about is how are you better based on everything that you've just done what makes you different and just pop it in there next is compatibility now are you the right individual or team to make this idea happen i want you to say notice of this screen because we'll be doing a quick test or go through with this one so that we know what we're doing so who will be involved in your idea or business here you can press add a person you can add quite a few people and you can also remove them so if someone's no longer part of the business or actually they're not going to be part of it in the first place you can just remove them so that's something simple that you can use and we want you to self-assess and rate yourself of how compatible you are with passion. So from is it least compatible to most compatible at number 10, slide that across, and we'll be doing this exercise following the demonstration. So if you just have a look, so here my network, I have a strong supportive network, so I'm gonna put them at 10 on planning. I could do a bit better, I'm gonna put that middle of the road. Next up is content. Now this is what, the essential items that you're going to need to make your idea happen. It is quite simple. You can, as you can see, just see, hover over and see what everything is. Now, for example, offices and offices and workplaces, you actually might think that you won't need it now because in the current climate, it's making a lot of people think how best to work and where to work from. So if you do choose that you want an office, you can either click it or drag it into the box and as you can see it will then come down and then you just title and description and you can add as many as you want and you can also remove them if they no longer apply again then the rest of the content you just need to write and fill out as directed and last but not least is the last c which is cash understanding the money coming in and going out so how will your idea make money? We're not looking for big spreadsheets. We're not looking for profit and loss. Um, none of that, but just bullet point what you will need to do to sell and what it is that you will need to spend money on to make this idea into a business and how to make it sustainable. Now that we have provided a spreadsheet in the table here, you don't have to use it. 
but if you do have one you can also put an attachment at the top now when you finish with your idea you have three buttons as you can see at the top now the preview submission will let you see what it is you've already written inside this section the submit once you finish completely you submit and then we get to see what your idea is and support you along the way or you have the save button which you can save your progress now and then come back to it later if you want to complete more sections or if you want to add more or take things away so what i'm going to do is have a quick preview of the submission so we can see what it looks like with the little information we've put in so far as you can see each section concept customers and here's our little pet your competitors and that's what it would look like at the moment you can also see in presentation mode now there's not a lot on this screen so what i'm going to do is show you one that we made it earlier it's a bit like a blue printer presentation anyway so this is what we've done earlier it's fully completed just want to do a quick presentation and here we go so it, let, it, it gives you a nice way to actually see something and bring your idea to life. So if we just show quickly, so this is what it would look like. This is your idea. Here are some of the tags that you would have used, maybe a logo, a bit of text. And then if you did put in a video, it will show up there. It makes it clean and easy to view for everybody. So just get up from there and we'll go back to our presentation. And here we go. So we, going to give you like two minutes and what I'd like you all to do is to do exactly what I've just done so if you go to the link and register www.sdi.click forward slash make it happen it will take you to the make it happen page click on the new idea number two register and then we want to get started so I'll give you till the end of the timer to get that going and any help please ask us questions if you need any help that's great so i can see that a few of you have registered already but for anyone who hasn't remember it's the www.sdi.click forward slash make it happen link to use now the next screen that we're going to is we're going to try out the compatibility section of the six c's so now that you've registered go in to start your new idea and then get to the compatibility side and all we want you to do is to provide a rating from one being least compatible to 10 being the most compatible of how you are to your idea so i'll give you five minutes for that for anyone who's still registering and we'll get back to you once it's done again any questions please do ask
Shanti, I've got a question from Alana. So she's updating the information now. Um, yeah. But the business idea is hers and her colleagues. So how would she kind of tag or involve that person into this kind of section of the platform? Is it possible? Okay. It is. Um, if I quickly get out of this screen, I can show you. Um, so. Sh on, oh, sorry, Shanti. No, I was just, I was just going to chip in there. Sorry. Do, do you mind? Yeah. Is that all right? No, no, um, no, well, the, there is the there is the capacity in the platform to collaborate, and we do that a lot of the time with lots of other um, settings in education, government, healthcare. In this instance, the best thing to probably do would be to just sort of share the link with your um, colleague or the person who wants to do that with you at the moment. Um, we can add that sort of team function. Um, we can switch it on but it's probably something for us to think about um because at the moment the platform is quite a private space so each person um can work on their idea independently without sort of adding other people but that's something that we can switch on so if i i'll just hop into the back end section of the platform and once once i've done that um i'll go directly to alana with with how she does it that is Okay, great. So we've had the timer go off. We will be moving on to the next section. However, we are on hand should you need any help or you are stuck. So what we would like you to do now is following everything that we've just gone through is to bring your idea to life. Explore the make it happen challenge. Just a quick recap. Have a look through the customer the concept, the competitors, compatibility, contents and cash. And just to remember what that was, the concept is the description of your idea. It can be short, it can be long, whatever it is that your idea is, pop it in there. Customers is to figure out what your market is and who you will be selling to. Next, we're going to the competitors. Now, you will be competing against someone in a market, but how are you different? and identify who those competitors are. We've done the compatibility, so that's a quick win, that one's done. Next is the content stage, where you need to know what it is that you will need to make that idea happen. And next is the cash. So how will you bring money in and what will you need to spend money to make that idea happen? So we've given you 10 minutes to sort of go through that. And really, you don't have to finish it. That's not what this is about. This is about having fun. It is about exploring the challenge and just getting acquainted with some of the things that you may need to consider when starting a business and exploring your idea. Ask us questions at any time. We are here on hand. And yeah, bring your idea to life.
So if you have any questions, just fire them into the chat um, bar on your control panel, and then I'll see them, and then I can pass those on to, to Joseph and Jantia. So um, if you're stuck with anything or got any questions around what you're doing, well, then we're here to answer them for you, okay? Hi guys, Sh uh, Shantia, might it be possible um, to, I've, I've switched team on now, so in response to Alana's question, it yeah. is a really interesting one um, around being able to have, sort of bring other people into your team, which I think is really, really cool and something that we do quite often. I've switched that on now um, in the platform, so it might be useful if you pop into uh, an example idea and just sort of mm -hmm. show, um, refresh, the page that you're on. Okay. Okay. So thanks, Shantia. So what you'll see, Alana, and again, this applies to sort of anybody who's who's sort of working collaboratively with another person on developing uh, an idea. You've also got a team uh, function on the left hand side. So if you click on team, Obviously, the Female Founders Platform is a really open, inclusive space um, that we really want to encourage as many women with with ideas, early stage ideas and business ideas to come in and get involved and and, and, and potentially support each other over over the next you know six to 10 months. So you'll find in team then you'll be able to once your once your colleague or that your, your sort of business idea partner is also registered in the platform. If Shantia, for example, if you type in Joseph, so obviously I'm registering the platform. You'll see all the people who are getting involved at the moment can be added. So you can find the person that you want to add. You can click add teammate. They'll get an invitation. I and mean, then again, they have to be registered in the platform to be able to receive that invitation. And then they'll be able to join the idea. And what I can do now, because Shanti's added me to that idea, is I can get involved and I can edit and save and add videos and links uh, just like Shanti can. Uh, in that idea, so we can really work together on it. Whether that's on desktop or mobile, we can we can do that together. There's probably one key point that I would that I would stress is that um, if you add somebody to your idea, you're both working on that idea together. Um, but all the other people in that community, which is great actually, that there's other sort of engaged women just like you who are at those various stages of, of creating ideas you can't see each other's ideas and the things you're working on so your space your workspace if you like is private and private to you um, but if you add somebody to your idea to collaborate with obviously and the benefit is there they can come in and work on that idea with you so you've got that privacy that you can obviously can control and at the same time you can bring people into that idea uh, to help create value. So I hope that's helpful, Alan. And again, just pop a question uh, or something in chat um, if you need us to work on that with you a bit further. So jo uh, Joseph, I have got a couple of other questions. Um, so Alana just said that she hasn't got the team function on hers. So I'm guessing mm -hmm. that might be something that you can have a conversation with outside of it. Um, yeah, she, she, she probably just needs to press the refresh button in her browser yeah. and it'll appear. Okay, and then I try that, and then if it doesn't work, um, we can put you in touch with the Simply Do Ideas team and kind of get you sorted. And then we've got another great question, actually. For, oh, she says it's done. Yay! Hey. <laughs> um, and then another great question from Jennifer Henney. Um, and I don't know if this is Jennifer Henney who lives kind of next door, but one to me. If it's you, oh. hello! Um, she says, I have several ideas. Would you be able to add multiple ideas? <laughs> and it is my neighbour. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, that's so cool. Um, well, I'm happy to take both questions. The, the answer to the second one is absolutely. You can create a hundred new ideas if you want. I, I think both Shantia and I know that feeling when actually, and certainly at this stage, you've got five, 10, even 20 ideas. And actually working through this process 
will really help you again this is about the the what to do next will really help you be able to cherry pick the ones you think or the one you think you want to take forward so please you know build up that portfolio of early series years as many as you like it's sort of an unlimited space so go for it um and to answer the first question um which i ah, was around oh, sort of the first one which is just around that additional support again Shanti, if you don't mind me being a bit of a pain, if you head back to the platform. So obviously, you know, we really sort of in, encourage questions during this session. Um, but obviously after, and you may be in the platform working on your idea and just think, oh, actually, I've got a question around um, how I, you know, add a teammate or how I start a new idea or how I include an image and so on. And what you've got, if you notice where Santa's just hovered a cursor over in the bottom right hand corner of the platform, you can click on that little friendly button called Intercom and it opens up and you can just have a conversation with a member of the team. But obviously, you can send us a message directly and whoever's on Intercom that day, it could be Shanta, it could be myself, it could be my colleague Josh, um, we'll pick up that question for you. Um, and secondly, there's lots of sort of useful help articles you might be able to self-service. You also, um, Shanta, I'm happy for you to do this. If you click on my profile, if you've got me there, if you, if you, if you close Intercom, um, and uh, no, so if, oh, sorry, if you go top right hand corner of the screen um, and to the profile icon, the, the pretend one, or to search, it'll pick me up that way, either one. Here I am. And again, Shanti or myself, we've got a profile in the platform and you can send us a message directly. So again, forgive, forgive this video and um, the camera adds 10 pounds. <laughs> Um, but this is our profile and you've got a button just under the icon that says send a message and you can pop a, a direct message to us as well. So there's lots of lots of ways you can get in touch. And actually, again, CAF from Khwarayteg, who's sort of facilitating for us today, lots of other partners will also have profiles in as well. And if you've got a question specific to them, you can find them and pop them a message too. I hope that's helpful. Thank you for the questions, CAF. That's a great idea, actually. I, I have a profile and I, I absolutely love the platform. I really do. Um, so, yeah, you can ping any questions to me through that as well. Um, so, Anne Elliott, you've got your hand up. I can either, um, you can either put your question to us through chat or I can take the microphone off entirely up to you. So, if you want to kind of just ping that in via chat, do. If you want to speak, let me know via chat, okay? Um, but that's all we've got so far. And Shantia, again, I know you're sort of coming to the end of, of that bit. Once you summarise this section, I wonder if I might just briefly have the moment to touch upon some of the um, female founders' insights that you've also been capturing as well. Yeah, no problem. So we've come to the end of this section. There will be a Q&A next. So, Joe, if you want to go for it now, but you're more than welcome. Oh, Super, thanks, Shantia. Um, it's just one other sort of additional resource that, again, we've been working on um, across the, the partnership, which is the really, one of the really exciting bits here. Um, not just the platform, which is great, but actually all the range of ex expertise and experience from uh, what I take, Simply Do, um, NatWest and other partners such as uh, Business uh, Wales as well. Um, what we've also done is we've got a really sort of wide and open network of uh, sort of really recent um, female founders who've sort of been where you are and have traveled that journey. And they're from lots of different sectors and they've had lots of different experiences. And these are really sort of human stories of real people, real women in Wales who are developing or had early stage ideas and who've gone through that pain of confidence, fear of failure, um, the, the financial pressure, um, and also, uh, and, and really sort of confidence was a key one, and, and also time, being able to fit that in around all the other things that you've, you've got going on in your lives. Um, and if, if, again, Shanti, if I could ask, if you pop into the platform again, um, and I just think the thinking one, well, perhaps Kelly might be a useful one. If you go to search again, <clears throat> excuse me, and if you type in Kelly, 
Um, and these are stories that we'll be sharing. Once now you're editing the platform, you also get sort of regular um, comms uh, from the platform that'll share lots of other useful tips and hints and things you can think about. We'll also be including these sorts of uh, personal profiles from previous female founders. Again, Kelly's a great example. She's a mum of uh, four, I think. Um, she's based in Cambran, had an idea with another mum that she's friends with at a school. And over the last, um, I guess, sort of six or seven years, has built out an early stage idea into a into a, into a business that's trading internationally. Now, again, every, success, every um, great idea is an overnight success, but it took them years with no manufacturing background, no business background. They just thought, you know what, we'll give it a go. And it's a really lovely sort of two minute rough copy video where she shares that really personal story. And again, these are accessible in the platform and we'll be sharing these over the next sort of weeks and months. Um, and I, I certainly think a lot of people will be able to take uh, bits from them to inspire them to, to take that, that next step. Thanks, Shantia. Thanks, Joe. Um, yeah, so really we're at this stage where any questions that you may still have, whether about the platform or the process, we are on hand. I'll, I'll give it a, a few minutes just to see if anyone pops any questions. Otherwise, we'll move on, really. So, um, so this is a... No. Alana, not a daft question at all. Um, Alana's asking, um, what does it do for you? What will the platform do for you? I hope that I've interpreted that correctly, Alana. Yeah, I have. So I don't mind who answers that. Do you want me to take it, Jill? Yeah. Yeah, well, I was, I was just sort of just about, but you, you fire away. I'm sure I'll, I'll have something to add. <laughs> sure. So essentially, the platform is part of um, a combination of online events that we're working with with Huaratech. But the platform itself is for you to be able to get the idea out of your head and pop it on paper or virtually, as we said, to explore things that you may have not considered and take you through a process of what you need to do to take the idea for business. Once it is submitted, and I think we want to stress this, again, it is private, no one's going to see it except the team, but we can share that with expert support and partners that we have based on the idea that you have if you want to take it further. So I guess that really is what the platform will do for you. Joe, anything to add? Uh, yeah, I, I, I yeah, absolutely echo what you said there, Shantia. I think in terms of the, the, the journey, um, we, we know um, from experience that actually often you, you have a bit of a nub of an idea, but of course you're not sure what to do with it. And often the next port of call is often for people to go to a bank and explore uh, and get sort of lots of um, business jargon and lots of resources and things they've got to fill in. Um, people maybe have to go to events, which often you haven't got time to do. Um, maybe you've got to go somewhere and pitch your idea to, to other people and actually a lot of people aren't confident enough to do that. Um, and actually scaffolding or structuring or having a framework for the idea that's not a really lengthy business plan is a really excellent way to say, well, I've got a bit of an, above, an idea and I need something in between a business plan and just a, you know, I've written an idea on the back of a, on the back of a post-it. I need something in between to give me a bit of structure, which I can look at and very quickly, you know, for example, when you hit present mode and you filled it out, you see this sort of deck almost emerge that's got a structure and actually that'll help you convey that to potential customers and often the early stage customers are friends and family um, and also potentially convey that to the next layer of what really is then business support you know this isn't business support this is about scaffolding that idea but if you've got an idea that you've created shape around now you can take it to, to a business support space like a business wales for example and all the other opportunities out there for support to plug it in and say this is how i want to take the next step Often we find people just want to validate that that idea makes sense. And sometimes through this journey, you'll think, you know what? What I started with, with an idea is actually not what I've created in the end. So it, it really helps you navigate that uncertainty. You often start off at the beginning to have something that was sort of a lot more structured 
but that isn't, and that's almost what I want to really emphasize, that isn't a, a really long, often laborious and really inaccessible sort of business planning sort of process. So it's that, it's that bit in between. And hopefully it'll be sort of really nice and quick, really nice and easy and, 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 and quite fun and simple to use as well. Brilliant. Um, really good summary there. I think, yeah, I, I agree with absolutely all of that. When when you've got a spark of an idea or you've been thinking about something for a while, it's really hard to know what to do next. Um, and, you know, you guys are experts when it comes to kind of online education around um, around enterprise. Um, and I just think this platform provides you with the tools necessary to kind of help you just structure and think about all those key stages. And you know, it can help you prepare that business plan as you proceed to the next step. And I think I want to follow that, Joseph, with just saying as well that this program isn't just about inspiring you. We want to create new businesses. You know, that is our intention, not just to get you to have ideas, but it really is what we're saying. It's about turning those ideas into reality. And I think that this platform is really helpful. And you're going to be talking to like-minded people and getting loads of tips as well from experts who've been there, you know, worn the t-shirt um, that you can learn from. And it's a safe space and you don't have to spend hours and hours and hours online trying to find information. Because honestly, I've done it myself. You type entrepreneur into Google and you get back about 5 billion kind of searches. Like, where do you start? Um, anyway, that's enough from me. I've got another question for you. Um, and this is from actually one of my wonderful colleagues, Rodri, who's going to be delivering our next session um, on networking. A little plug there for you, Rodri, um, for our next session, June the 24th. Tune in. Um, so Rodri asks, is there support to help identify customers in that initial stage? Um, that's something that people may need help with. Um, I, I think at this stage, um, I think having a go sort of at each of those sections is really worthwhile. Um, I think very happy for, for people to sort of touch base with us and Shanti is very open to that as well um, to say, hey, look, you know, I'm on a certain section and this is roughly where I am at the moment. You know, what, what are your thoughts? But I think and I think some of the Shanti has sort of emphasized that do as almost as much as you can. Again, keep it light touch, um, but do as much as you can. And if there's a section you think, you know, oh, this is the bit that I'm not, I'm not sort of confident with, fill all the rest out. Either then the, the customer will emerge as you're developing each of the other sections or save and submit what you've got. And again, that gives us the sort of the, the nudge to say, hey, look, I would like you to take a look. We'll hop in. And if we see a section that's not really clear or not really um, you know that, that clearly you're not sure what to do next that gives us the right sort of steer to say ah potentially you need this now as, as the next bit of support um so again as much as you can but if there are sections that, that don't feel comfortable and, and you're not sure what to do with them leave them as they are um, and that gives us an opportunity to help redirect you to to the right support brilliant thank you roger i hope that's okay um sorry somebody just dropped the spoon in the background the dangers of running sessions at home with a house full of people, I guess. <laughs> Apologies for that. Um, Rodri says, perfect. Has anybody else got any questions? I mean, you've got us for another 10 minutes and and we've got real experts in the field of um, business development, idea creation, idea generation here. And it's all free. Um, so make the most of it. While we're waiting for the questions to come in, do you, um, oh, hang on a second. Uh, so from Fiona, do you provide any training, for example, building confidence to approach um, prospective customers for business? So um, I can probably answer that, uh, Joseph, and then ask you to come in if I've missed anything. Are you okay with that? Sounds great, Cass. Yeah. So, I mean, I know that the Simply Do Ideas team, everything they do is kind of online education and it is around um, this platform. So they've created this platform um, for us, for this programme, but they've got other platforms that 
they use in business, in, in education. Um, but as far as training goes, what we are doing at Quarite, part of our element, is actually um, delivering some um, online sessions. And when we're allowed, which is really exciting, and we're hoping, you know, we don't know when that's going to be. We're hoping it will be later this year. But we will be providing training around confidence. Um, and we'll be doing that via our kind of face-to-face uh, seminar. We're kind of running a, a whole day of uh, training that we're going to be inviting you to. And, you know, as we, we always do this really well at Huari Teagan Simply Do, if we are unable to do that, then I am pretty sure that we will adapt our program to bring that confidence training to you through another, another method. Because, um, you know, it's really important to us that we're giving you what you need. I hope that answers your question. Did you want to add anything, Joseph or Shantia? No, not for me. I, I, I absolutely agree that that sort of program that's that's part of this of the female founders or the future female founders program is yeah. is is exactly the next step. So no, there's nothing to add, Kath. Not for me. Yeah, brilliant. And, and actually, the networking session. And um, thank you, Alexia. My colleague Alexia just reminded me that our next session, another plug, uh, June the twenty fourth, uh, same time. Um, might actually help, and I can see that Alexi's just answered that question um, to Fiona. So yeah, and then that will be all about making sure that you are talking to the right people, because it's really important that as you develop your business, that you are talking to the right people, that you are surrounding yourself with the right people, um, and that includes you know your audience as in potential customers. So join us for that one. Um, so we've got Rian asking, how long do you see this process with SDI lasting from when an I, oh, this is a great question, from when an idea is first registered? Oh, that's a really cool question that was. Do you say it was Fion? No, this, is, was... from, this is from Rian. Rian. Yeah. Um, I think it really depends, doesn't it? Um, I think what from the poll that uh, Shantia conducted towards the beginning, we had a uh, we had a lot of people in that sort of thinking stage, and then a, a small chunk of people in the in the planning, and then much smaller thereafter. So I think actually there's a lot of people at the moment that have just got something in their mind, um, and this obviously this is a great catalyst to go okay from an early stage idea into a bit of a structure. But actually really depends on the idea then is it something that's going to require you know spending quite a bit of time building out funding is it going to be something that requires lots of other sort of training and support mechanisms and other aspects obviously the of the future female founders program i think it really depends um i i, I think it would be you know if, if we were to sit here and say oh, actually and in four weeks you'll be up and trading well the reality is there could be somebody and there's more than 15 new ideas that have already been created in the platform that we can that we can already begin to support um there'll be somebody in that group that actually is, works it out runs through the process really quickly gets connected to the next bit of support as soon as they've submitted that idea and actually they're in a place to test trade quite quickly um but there'll be other people who is going to take the next six months it's going to take another nine months um, and not just because of the conditions sort of more broadly and, and, and globally actually it's going to take them that time to quietly nurture their idea in this safe digital space and also access the other things that will be coming through the program uh, so that they're ready so it's a personal journey um, which could be really, really quick or could be a real slow burn uh, up until the end of the year. So really, really depends. Brilliant. Thank you. Um, Sophie has her hand up, but I can't see your question. And we're kind of coming to the end. So I, we've probably got time for, for one more. So if you do have any questions, drop, drop them in now. Um, while we're waiting for that, Joseph, do you want to round, round up? today um thoughts feelings whatever you want to share <laughs> related to today obviously not just anything <laughs> well i mean i really enjoy being part of it um the, the session and i'm really excited to see lots of these early stage ideas come through um but let me sort of hand back to to shantia to to just summarize what we've covered um and what next Okay, thanks, Joe. Yeah, so what we've done today is we've looked through the platform, we've registered, we've created a new idea, and we've explored the Make It Happen Challenge. 
Now, again, just to reiterate what we've been saying, today wasn't about finishing your idea as quick as possible, but rather to explore the platform and how that could help in putting your idea together. And we are on hand, as you saw through the intercom messages. So after this, if you do have questions for us, we are more than happy to take them and we are on hand. And we're very excited to be a part of this journey and to help you towards your own business. Jo, yes. what was you? We did have one at last one. Can we squeeze it in? We've got three minutes. Yes. Yeah. Rianne, Rianne's got like the best questions. Do you advise on patent uh, or idea protection? So I get this is kind of much further down the line, but I guess if you've got an idea which you know is going to be brilliant and you need to kind of IP it, um, do you offer advice on that? Well, well the platform, I should say. Yeah, uh, this, this is a really great question. And I think that's probably potentially one of the reasons Shanta was keen to sort of highlight that what you create is private and, it, and it's yours. Um, it's, it's funny, actually, we did a, a piece of work um, and we often work with the intellectual property office and that are based in Newport. We're on a range of other sort of projects. And one of the things that a colleague there said to us was around IP and patents in that space certainly getting in the way at this stage so absolutely you you'd very much need to go and seek professional advice if you think you've got um and kelly aspland actually in in the platform who, who's the female founder of insight that we shared earlier um actually had to go through that process as a person with no patent and no business and no manufacturing experience so it can be done and she sought out the right support and we can certainly connect you to that when you get to that stage but at this early stage it's about building out your idea into something that you can begin to communicate to other people and and where you can don't let that sort of feeling of um sharing your idea and something gets taken away from you if you like don't let that get in the way of this very early stage uh part of your you know idea development um that's that's certainly our advice thank you very much so was there anything to add before we um, let people go and have a spot of lunch? No, just thank you everybody for taking part in the event and I hope it helped. Yeah, um, so I'm just going to bring my camera back up a second. Um, although I do apologise, I am looking a little bit tired today and I've just dyed my hair and it's a bit bright. Um, <laughs> but I just want to thank everyone um for, for being involved today for you guys for being here and giving up you know your lunch hour um and to the simply do ideas team as i said in the beginning you know we are so lucky to be working with them they really are the people to go to when it comes to idea creation um and i just found today really really interesting the platform is free to use um it's designed specifically for for women in wales who want to create their own businesses who want to be their own boss um so yeah, just thank you to everyone. Um, and hopefully we'll see you all back here on June the 24th, where you'll be with Rodri, um, who will be talking about um, effective networking, something that is gonna be really useful for you to make sure that you surround yourself with absolutely the right people to take your business idea forward. So on that note, I'm gonna say uh, good, goodbye, farewell, I read it down. Um, and we'll see you all soon. Take care all. Have a really, really good week. Bye.